everybody, it's Maggie from Personal Euphoria. Uh, today I'm gonna go over a question I actually get asked a lot, which is, what is the difference between Pilates and yoga? Now, I am a certified Pilates instructor, and though we offer yoga, I am not personally trained in yoga, so I'm happy to have anyone comment or weigh in if they disagree with me, but I think I have a pretty good understanding about yoga versus Pilates. So first of all, one of the major differences is that yoga is much older. It has a, a much longer history. And in fact, Joe Pilates, when he was creating the Pilates method, took some things from yoga. So there, you can kind of see some yoga-esque things in Pilates, but, but very subtly, right? So um, yoga is older and has a much richer heritage than Pilates. Pilates is much younger as a movement modality. Um, and that has also given yoga so much time to spread. There's so many different styles of yoga, all different types of styles. I don't know that I even know them all. And they all have sort of different goals and traditions and some are newer and in the yoga world, some people think that some are so new or different from what traditional yoga is that they're getting away from what yoga is meant to be. But lots of different styles. Whereas in Pilates, within the Pilates communi uh, community, we maybe have like a more classical or traditional Pilates versus a modern Pilates. And while instructors might debate subtle differences, overall the concepts behind Pilates are the same. So you might get like a different style of instructor, but conceptually, ultimately I think we're going for the same thing. But you don't have like 20 different options of types of Pilates. So many more styles for yoga. Uh, I also think that the spirituality is a different aspect. So yoga has a spiritual component to it, especially traditionally, and Pilates really doesn't. And it's one of the reasons I like Pilates is um, I don't necessarily feel I want spirituality and exercise mixed when I choose to work out. That being said, when I've trained um, specifically with classical Pilates, they do talk about, Joe Pilates talks about how there is a spiritual component to Pilates. I just truly have never seen that. I've never felt like any instructor has kind of placed that in the Pilates method. I know that's not my instruction. So I think while Joe Pilates intended for there to be a spiritual component, it's not really there anymore. But I'd love for another Pilates instructor to weigh in on that with their thoughts. Another difference is that you, many types of yogas, yogas actually hold poses, um, even if it's only for a few seconds or prolonged, sometimes up to minutes. In Pilates, you rarely hold a pose. It's almost constant movement. Sometimes in my classes, I have people hold a stretch briefly because I think stretching does feel good. But traditionally in Pilates, you don't hold a pose. You move constantly. So that is a difference. Also, I think the concept of stretching versus eccentric work. So in yoga, you hold a lot of stretches and I feel like there's a lot of emphasis put on stretching and increasing flexibility. Um, whereas in Pilates, a lot of the movements he created were, were basically based on what we know now is an eccentric contraction. So if you are lengthening the muscle, it's under load and it's getting long and strong simultaneously. Um, and it's one of the key factors that I think makes Pilates so important is that you, anytime you wanna gain flexibility, you wanna maintain your strength with that. We always need the proper balance of strength and flexibility together. So Joe Pilates, by creating moves that emphasized eccentric contractions or used a lot of eccentric contractions, means that you are getting, you're getting that muscle long, but it's under load and so it's staying strong and long. Uh, the breath work is different. I mean, Pilates has like one basic breath work and pattern and yoga has an assortment of breathing patterns. Uh, I don't think the breath of either is better or right. I think it's good to be able to practice different breath works and ver different types of breathing and, and have control over that. So that's a key factor. Uh, again, yoga having a number of more options and styles than Pilates in, in the breath work. One place I think they do overlap Although I think they emphasize core work differently, like 
yoga has a lot of planking exercises or, you know, in a, you'll be in a position where you're planking. But I don't necessarily think that they emphasize engaging your core quite the way Pilates tends to do and focuses on that. So we both work the core, but with different concepts. However, one way we both work the core the same is you often in yoga or Pilates, you'll twist, you'll side bend, you'll round forward, you bend back, you basically move the spine in every direction it can move. And an interesting fact about doing that is that a couple years ago, a neuroscientist found so many links between the core muscles that move us in those ways and the nerves that run to our brain also, to, and those muscles also connect to our adrenals. So he felt that the stress reduction people find from doing Pilates or yoga may not just be because of meditation or just breathing, but actually because you bend sideways, you twist, you round forward, and that moving the core in all those directions are linked to reducing stress based on the way our core muscles and our adrenals connect in our brain. Uh, so more research hopefully on that, but the, the links were many. It wasn't like one nerve that connected. It was so many they couldn't count them. Uh, and so I think yoga and Pilates both have the ability to reduce stress. Um, yoga you'll also find more meditation in, but Joe Pilates cued more meditative practices than are regularly in a Pilates class today. So that's a little something that's gotten lost from his teaching as well. Um, but that's also a difference. Like I, I've never taken a Pilates class where at the end you have this sort of quiet, you know, maybe five minutes where you rest peacefully and lie down. Again, you're, you're kind of moving from beginning to end. Um, they're both mind-body exercises. I do think a little bit yoga gets into that more with the spirituality component. Pilates, I always say, like, if you come to Pilates and you just do the moves, you're going to get a good workout. But if you're focusing on what you're doing, you're going to get so much more. So Pilates, that's where the mind-body comes in. We're moving our body, but our mind is really visualizing and thinking. And actually, some of this stuff is so subtle, you really have to think about it to make those changes but it's those subtle changes that make the biggest difference in the body. Uh, so at least that's a start for what I think the difference between Pilates and yoga is. Again, if you have more to add or you disagree with any point I've made, I'm happy to have you comment and add more to the dialogue on that. Have a great day, and whether you choose yoga or Pilates, keep moving.